ask you, um, I know that you had um, a salon in Estonia with your family and that that business was, um, was a successful business. What then brought you to London? What were you searching for? I could feel that I'm not actually knowing what I'm doing 100%. So quite often I would feel that disappointment and frustration with myself because I could not uh, create a shape or haircut uh, with a knowledge, a strong knowledge. So I was doing it visually, I was doing it kind of with um, not strong technique. And I always wanted to learn that technique. I always wanted to find out that technique. I was looking for people, for seminars, for stylists who could show me that technique, and I could not find it in my country. I researched it a little bit and I found out that I can learn it in London. Uh, one of my friends told me that and we went together and um, went on the course uh, in uh, Sassoon's. And that's where I saw this wonderful, strong technique, strong understanding of what a uh, hairdressing industry is, cutting hair, cutting shapes. Um, and I decided, I was really inspired by it, and I decided that, that that's how I want to cut hair. That's what I want to learn. So that's how I ended up um, in London. So when you came into the course, did you feel that was enough for you? Well, it was just a weekly course. So first of all, it was really, really um, energetic for me. It was inspiring for me. I was feeling really excited and I said, I'm definitely coming back and I have to learn. And so I took that knowledge back to my country and I tried to kind of fit it in with my clients on, on my clients' hair and I realised that Actually, it slowly shaped uh, my habits, my knowledge a little bit and I didn't really know what I'm doing. So I could see that picture of perfection but I could not put it onto the client and it was even more frustrating. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, one week maybe not enough, maybe I have to learn uh, a little bit longer, at least a month or two months, maybe that's what will give me that strong technique and I will be able to apply it on my work. Okay, so did you then sign up for another course or did you look into more education then? Um, my next step was to find out what kind of long courses uh, I can take and learn. Um, the longest course was six months. I went on that course, I paid quite a lot of money for it, £15,000, so it was lots and lots of money mm -hmm. at that time. And I was absolutely sure that I will learn in perfection and I will be able to do it myself. I went, it was inspiring, it was, it was wonderful, I learned a lot, but when I went back to home, actually I could not see that result on my work, I could not see that perfection on my work. I still had a lot of questions, I still could not understand 100% what I'm doing, so it was so, so frustrating for me. So I decided, well, I have to work for the company, I have to go there and find out the secret, well how can they cut hair so amazingly well, and why nobody else in the world can't do that? So I applied and I got, I got in. Yeah, <laughs> what an amazing thing to actually um, to actually learn from the inside, which is very clever actually, and and the only way really to actually learn uh, the definite one hundred percent technique. Well, yeah, now I understand that to learn any technique, you have to go through the coaching training, and that's the only way to learn technique properly in any craft. And I have that wonderful idea to give that knowledge to people. I believe in co-training and I created this system of coach training how I can train a person who have already um, knowledge of hairdressing but they on that kind of in-between level so they don't know 100% what they're doing, they really want to learn skill, a proper skill of building shapes from hair as a material. So I'm really happy to share that knowledge with people 
and that's what I'm working at the moment now to create that beautiful system and to give it to people. Well, that sounds amazing, and um, I think that there's a lot of people out there that would, that would really enjoy that kind of training. And I think because you're com you're coming at it from a way that you understand how they feel, and you can you can understand why they would want to take it further. And I think that kind of training from you would be very special indeed. Yeah, absolutely. I believe that in work.